Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Hello world, Vinny here. I'm back to saying it like I'm supposed to say it. Are you proud of me? Yeah, it's a little better. Not not 100% better, but it's better. How is everyone today? Come on in. Welcome to our Thursday live show. We need a name for Thursday's live show. How about it's Thursday live? Oh God. <laughs> How about uh, technical difficulties? <laughs> That's what we should call Set it. The volume off. We just call it technical difficulties Thursday. Because that's usually what it is. <laughs> so welcome into our live show. If this is your first time joining us on a Thursday, we do craft videos on this channel. We do them Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and even a sneaky one on Sunday. And then Vinny does a cooking show on his channel every now and then called Vinny's Vittles. <laughs> and Look, it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Last week was quite bizarre. How bizarre. Um, and... Well, uh, on Tuesday, if you don't like the live video format, I've got you covered. Tuesday and Saturday at noon, I do uploaded, um, what are they called? Pre-recorded videos. And on Thursday, we do a live. This video is very casual. I, I just is. I enjoy this video with you guys because we can chat. If you're here for the first time and you don't know, there's a chat available in the YouTube area and you can chat with us. And if you like live shows, then like them with a thumb up. We like to know it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So today I'm going to do something brave. <laughs> I am going to be brave. brave. So here's the deal. This is a paper, a card, what? A card stock kit we got in the store. And when I say that, I'm having to answer a lot of questions because we've got a lot of new folks joining us. And when I say in the store, I mean our actual online store called MayMayMadeIt.com. Um, and so we got this in not not too long ago, but I've had a lot of requests to show how to use it And I gotta be honest. I think this is super fun and super cool And if you're not a card maker, but you would like to make nine cards for the holidays Maybe you know nine people you'd like to make their cards. This is the kit for you You need nothing but this kit and some glue. Okay, but I'm gonna show you some fun stuff about it so for example these two cards were made with this kit and it was just two pieces of cardstock that made this kit, okay? So I have one and another, and I wanna show you what I had left over from that. And what I'm doing is I'm using the bag the kit came in to hold my little scraps. So here's the cool thing. When I finish, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of leftovers to use on other things. But let me give you a better, um, a better explanation of how this works. So these two cards are from this kit, and here's the other thing. If you love the inside to be decorated, look at that. Love that, right? Look at this one. Love the insides are decorated as well. Super easy to do. And you don't have to do it this way. You can flip them. You can do whatever you want to do. And on this one in particular, I added a little bit of, um, what is this called? <laughs> I never remember. Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is the color Ruby Slippers. I bet you would know that color. You probably packed it a time or two. In a one package. or two of those. One or two of those for sure. So what happens with this kit is on the front, I'm gonna get me a pointer. Y'all know I like to point things. It, I, I made those two cards this morning, so you could see those two, okay? So on the front, you have an example. This is number one and number two. We also have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right? But there's gonna be a lot left over. So we're gonna make some of these today, and I'm gonna let you guys vote, and I'm gonna give you just a little bit. I'm gonna let Vinny and me and whoever's watching kinda help me know which one it is. And we're gonna pick between, I'm gonna give you some numbers. We're gonna do between number four, number six, and number nine. So you can choose a number, one number, choose number four, number six, or number nine, and we'll make that together. I just think those are really, I mean, these are super cute too, but these are the ones I'm itching to make. So four, by the way, somebody asked if it's available, it's available, but right now, I look, there's only like 15 in stock. I see a lot of sixes. There's some fours. There's some nines. Yeah, four, six, and nines been the... Well, those are the numbers I get to choose from. Well, it's going to be hard to determine because there's a lot of them. I don't know. Let's get... There's a lot of sixes. I've seen a lot of sixes and a lot of nines, so... There's a nine, six, six. Why don't you six. just pick yourself? Six, because I always do that. I don't want to. It looks like I'm getting a lot of sixes and do them all. It looks like I'm getting a lot of six and maybe even a lot of nine. I don't know. Let's see if we can make them all, but I'm going to start with six because I feel like six was very highly requested there. I saw a lot of sixes. All right. That's the wishing you holiday cheer. Let me show you how it works. So in the kit, you get these pages, which if you saw this at the craft store, this would look totally confusing, but it's totally not. Okay. Go with me for a second. Each one of these pages 
is a card, okay? And when you flip it over, it's another card. And it has extra little pieces that you can use for the same card or for other things. Let's get started. We're gonna make number six. So I'm gonna look through the pack and find the page. Oh, it also comes with the sticker sheet, which you can see I've already used, um, where are they at here? Some of the stickers for one of the cards, okay? So I'm gonna find the one that will make number six. Oh, and look right here. Right down here in the corner is an example of the card that's made from this page. Isn't that cool? Notice the front and the back. So they're both sides make a card. Oh, I gotta tell y'all something before I forget. I'm glad we said this. So if you look on the back, this is the sheet we chose the card from, okay? If you look on the back, we can go right to card number six, which is called Wishing You Holiday Cheer. And it says from sheet MPC 2883. So that's the sheet I'm gonna get. And I can look right here, that's 2882. That's 2882, oh, it's the same. So I just need to find 883. Here is 2883. And you get multiples because you can make, you know, multiple cards with them. Not multiple of the same designs, but multiple of what you saw on the front of the card, of the sheet I showed you. Then it tells me, let me flip it over. Where's my car at? Oh, it must be in the stickers. Okay, so then it tells me, trim the eight and a half by five and a half card base, score and fold in half, red and green side to the outside. This will be your card base. Super easy. So. Now, um, we have a question. Kim Jones asked what size are the cards? They are different sizes. They are, you get four and a half by five and a half, which is A2. You get five by seven, which is A7. And you get five and a half square, which fits in a six inch, a six by six um, envelope. So I'm gonna cut this section away. This is what I need for my card. That's the A2 size that it's telling me to cut. So what I'm going to do is grab my trimmer. And the first thing I like to do is cut away this extra little piece. I call it like the little decorator piece you get on all 12 by 12 paper pretty much. Just the title, I'm gonna get rid of that. Then I'm gonna cut down first. I'm gonna cut down here. Now, if you're not comfortable cutting down like this, and I have to get in a little bit because I'm gonna look and line my trimmer up just right. You can use a, a knife and a ruler. You can use scissors. You don't have to be too fancy with this. I'm gonna just, Slice. You can totally use scissors if you don't have a trimmer or you don't have some fancy cutting tool or something like that. You also can go ahead and cut all of this apart, but I kind of like not cutting it all apart to kind of keep it all together in biggest pieces as possible. And I'm going to sit that aside. And it told me to fold and go back to my instructions. Said, I, are they talking about my gray hair already? Amanda. <laughs> Your assistant is talking about your gray hair. Score and fold in I'm half with the. That's a fire in the fence. This says um, fold You're and score. I heard her laugh. <laughs> fold and score in half with the red and green side out. So I'm going to score it in here. You guys see how I'm scoring? I'm just right here. Let's just do it. I'm not going to pull out my scoreboard. There we go. All right. Fold this in half. Then I'm going to go to step two. And it says from that same sheet, trim the white plaid piece and adhere it to the front. So let's get the white plaid piece first. And if you don't know for sure, which I think it's this one, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's that one. If you're unsure, you can always look back and see. Yep, it's that little white plaid piece. So let's trim that out. Oh, it wasn't the one I thought. It's a different one. Oh, it's this one. How stinking cute. Okay, I was looking for a big O piece. You just have to look at the picture. I'm gonna trim all of this away so I can get this piece out good. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I've got my trimmer. Let's do it this way. This is so cute. And I'm telling you, to me, this is fun because I like to, I like step-by-step -step following instruction kind of stuff. I know a lot of people don't, but I really do. All right, so we've got the green card facing up. This is gonna go here, okay? Then it tells me, I'm going back to the instructions, and you can do all of this at one time. It says, um, from the same sheet, trim the five and a half by three quarter inch gold strip. That's this little piece right here. So I'm gonna trim that off. I think it's fun. It's like a recipe. That's what I was trying to think of. It's like following a recipe. And I don't mind cooking if I'm following a recipe, but I'm not good at throwing stuff together. I did that last night and Vinny came home and tasted it and he was kind of like, eh, it's not the worst. <laughs> It wasn't quite like that. It wasn't the best you'd ever tasted, but it wasn't the worst. I'll give you that. I'll take that, too. That's good. 
All right, then it says from the sticker sheet. Okay, it's already telling me to adhere this stuff down, but I kind of want to lay things out before I adhere everything down. So let's do a little dry run using the picture. I flipped it over so I can see the picture. So this kind of goes to the top. Did I cut off a piece I wasn't supposed to? We'll see. This goes, this is the road that your little um, vehicle's going to live on. How cute is that? Then we need to get some pennants, it looks like. So let's see what that's saying. Mary said you should let Vinny do the cooking. I should leave him to do that, but he wasn't home last night. And, and the girl's got to eat. <laughs> a girl's got to eat. So this is telling me on my sticker sheet, it says trim four and, oh, what's 6.25? 4.6.25. What is that? What? 3.8? No, 4.6.2. I mean, 4.625 is... That's a little over a high, four and a half. You know how we're going to cheat it? Let me just show y'all. So this little piece that I'm trimming goes at the top of this guy. So it's telling me to trim a piece of the scallop border and hear it directly above the white piece. So here's what we're going to do. Here's our scallop border. Okay. This is the little sticker. And I'm just going to line this up on one end. I can always stick it back down. Line it up on one end just so my scallops still show at the top. Stick that little piece down there. It's not so bad. I can even get it pretty straight by doing that. That's pretty cool. Everybody's giving you the six and five eighths. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all know I don't measure. So what do I do instead? Eyeball. Eyeball. <laughs> there it is. It's done. And I didn't waste any sticker. So there's that. So then this goes like this. We'll assemble in a second. And I would encourage you to wait to assemble too so you can lay everything out. Then it says, um, from the same sticker sheet, locate the car trailer sticker and the seven small pennants. The car and trailer. Oh, it's so cute. It's right here. What I'm going to do is just stick that on my finger there. And the seven small pennants. What do they look like? I'm going to look at the picture again. Oh, they're kind of the chubby ones. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are going to go on in a second. So now I think we can start kind of building this dude. So we're going to glue this piece down. Is this bothering y'all that it stuck to my finger? That it, that way I don't lose it. <laughs> I'm going to glue this little piece down. Na, 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 na. Little art glitter glue. All right, and then I'm going to go kind of to the top and center it as best I can without putting my gray hairs in the screen. Heaven help, y'all know, I'm gonna get them colored. I did get it cut. I went that far. Okay, and then this little guy is gonna go right down here. I, I like to refer back to my picture every now and then. Oh yeah, that little guy lives, oh, it actually lives underneath. That's even better. Yep, that's even better. So then I'm gonna glue this down. Any more questions for me, dear Vin Vin? No, I mean, they just, people are commenting. Chatting it up? Saying hello, stuff like that. Friendly hellos. All right, and then the car. I don't want you to color your hair. Just let it go. Oh, I can't, I'm going to, I now, don't some really. People, some people have suggested that you might want to use your truck stamp. Oh, that would be cute, but it won't fit where this is. What's happened is, the way this thing is designed, when I, stand, when I stick this down, it's going to fit in that wording perfectly. See how that does? Uh, that is so fun. I'm sorry. I think that's so fun. Then we can put our little pennant stickers on. So I'm going to start with this. Well, I better start with the middle one. One, two, three, four. Okay, that'll be this one. So, oh, and it's not quite in the middle on that. It's kind of under the tire. I'm going to put one down and work my way back. You could lay these out. Like, if you needed to, let me show you a tip. You could take your clear ruler and you could put it down here and you could stick the pennants onto your clear ruler and know exactly where they're going to go if you needed to be real specific with that. I'm just going to play because that's what makes it fun. I think the kids could do this. I think this would be super fun because listen, if your kids could sit down and follow a recipe and make these kind of cards and give them to me, mom, and granddaddy or mama and papa, whichever one you have in your area. That'd be so cool to say, we made that ourselves, wouldn't it? And they wouldn't, I know kids don't always like their own artwork, although we always like their artwork, but sometimes kids feel like it should be a little more polished. And this would be a good way to let them feel like they have really accomplished something cool. Ms. Jones said you could put it on top dots, top yeah. dots too. She's talking about the truck stand. Yes, you can. 
All right, what color is this? That's black. I don't want to use the black pen. I'm going to use a... They use gold. Oh, my gold pen's not in here. That's why I'm like, where's my gold yes, it pen? Is. It's in that box. Because <laughs> I saw it on the floor just a second ago. When my box fell and exploded on the floor? Yes. Okay, so they have on their little picture, which I think is really cute, they have these little stitch lines running right here. I think that's cute. I'm going to do that too. But I'm going to use this gold pen because I think it'll be cute. So I'm going to just run. Oh, maybe not. It's not going to show it all. Can't use the gold one. I wanted to. Let's use white. The problem is I took all of my pens and stuff out to color and film the other day in a different location. So I'm having to dig for them. So I'm just gonna run a little stitch line down. I'm not gonna hit right where I put that gold because it's not dry yet and I don't want to get that on my, my pen. Now, um, Connie asked, does the kit include envelopes? It doesn't, does it? It doesn't, but that's because they're include. standard. They're A2, A7, which is five by seven, and then six by six. And Mary said you could put some black marks on the road. Oh, yeah. That'd be like if Vince was driving it somewhere. My pen is totally empty. Do you see this? Are you saying like skid marks? Yeah. What are you trying to say? My white pen is literally empty. Look. You changing the subject? No. My pen is empty. I just realized it. Put it, it back. Oh, yeah. I need to buy another one of those. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to dig for one because I want to move on. So there we go. Go into the store and get duplicates of all your pens. What they just said. Did you see it? Look how stinking cute. So that's that card right there. Look. Except for the stitch line that didn't work. My pen just totally died on me. Then you can decorate the inside. Oh. <laughs> how funny. You just bought a pen. <laughs> we got a pen. Thanks, Amanda. Like, I wish I had a pen. There we go. No longer. But you know what? Do you know how long that pen has lasted me, Vince? Since I replaced it after the house fire? That's good. Yeah, that, I, I've had it forever. I've, look how full this one is. It goes all the way up. <laughs> Versus mine. Did you see it? It was just yeah. thirsty. All right. Not the best stitch line I've ever done, but it'll work. It's cute. Okay, so then here's what I love. Let's say you want to do something on the inside of the card. You have plenty left because you don't have to worry because even though the back of this will also make another card, you have another sheet to do that. So anything off of here you want to use on your this card, you can. So for example, I don't want to do that one. It matches a little much. Let me look on both sides. I like the little sentiments. Um, well, let's use it. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one out. Just like so. You're going to fussy cut? Yeah. Yeah, why not? It's not that big. And it's pretty clear to see because it's beige to green, so that makes it easy. These are my same scissors I did my video the other day that are still a little sticky. <laughs> but that's May May for you. And let's see. See, this is where you spend too much time. This is where I get, what else do I want to do? Because the card itself could be partially done. Now, one thing I have been doing, and I'll show you on one in a second. I went ahead and cut some little, like, solid color pieces to put on the inside. Because this is a kit where it works, you know, kind of in reverse, the inside of the card can sometimes be so solid or so printed that you don't have a good, clear place to write. So I just cut a little white piece of cardstock and stuck in there so I'd be able to write. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. My plan is to lay this little green Christmas. A lot of plaid going here, man, a lot of plaid. But I kind of like it. I keep leaving my glue to sit, and it gets that little bit of skin over the top, and then I have to push it out, and it does that to me. It's my fault. I know better, but I just keep doing it. So I'm going to put this little piece off to one side. Something like that. I'm not going to push too hard because i got too much glue. Let me squeeze that down a little bit. There we go. Whoops. More glue. You had a suggestion. And then I'm going to put this right here. She said, shouldn't you make sure that that piece is not required for another card? That's what I was saying. It won't matter because I'm making this card, so I can't flip any of this over and use it to make the exact same card in another sheet. I'll show you in a second because I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But like, even though this piece is here, unless I was making this card, it won't make a difference. Because I'm making this card, I can use anything that's left. I tested that earlier because I thought the same thing. I was like, ooh, I can't use these yet until I'm totally done, but that wasn't the case. So I'll explain it better in just a second when I can show you some visuals. 
then maybe just stick that cup something like that just to give it a little interest oh i still squeeze all that glue out okay it's all right it's art glitter glue it'll go away <laughs> it'll go away look that's cute so there we go one done or actually number six <laughs> i'm gonna squish it down again i've been opening and closing it so much i love that wasn't that fun now that doesn't look like i took two seconds to do that right okay so all of my little scraps from here right here and i'm going right to my bag and i'm just going right ahead and putting them away because i don't want to have to worry about that later and i'll have all of my scraps left over and when i'm done i will know that what i want to use or what i want you know if i want to use what's left over i've got it there's so much left too so much okay so let me explain what i was telling you in better detail there oh there went my trimmer vents hope it didn't die okay well what happens if it dies <laughs> kind of like that ink pen you'll just buy another one so this is the card i used just a second ago this is the card base okay and the card we made let me see we used, what do we use off of here besides the card base? We used the card base and that little gold piece. And we used this little piece, right? And that made one card. But if I was on the back side and I was going to make this card, see there's another card base, okay? Then I would use this piece and some other piece for it. So you don't have to worry about that. You get the same piece of paper so many times, if that makes sense, so you can make all the cards. All right, so now we got to pick between four and nine. So do we already pick between four and nine? Or have we? Because some, they want to see more than one. Look at that cricket board. It is good as new. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I killed it for real. I didn't kill it. I just got to get my other little piece that probably flew off where I can't find it in a live show. Are you kidding me? My actual blade piece fell off too. Oh, here it is. We're good. I'm all good. No worries. <laughs> all is well. Looks like nine is winning. Oh, okay, cool. I like nine because it has a no man on it. Look, we're all good. Back in business. Done. Okay. Let's try not to throw that in the floor again. So let's go to number nine. I'm gonna flip this guy over, find number nine. From sheet MC8228, trim the 10 by seven card base. Cool, oh, let's do that 23 one. Minutes. I'll do one more card. Are we okay? Yeah, you're at 23 minutes. If we do one more card. Which sheet did I say it was? Number nine, 2882. 2883, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna step out for just a second. Okay, I need. So don't ask no questions till I get back. <laughs> Give him a second, y'all. Okay, I need, I think it's this one. Look how pretty that is. Let me look. I'm gonna flip this over because it's back here. It's this. Look how gorgeous. So I need to trim that away. So let's see if our Cricut trimmer really took a licking and kept on ticking. I'm sure it did. It'll be fine. All right. I drop these things all the time. Does anybody else drop stuff constantly in their craft room because you have no more room for anything? Hey, speaking of this gray snowman, when I was in Texas at Decorators Warehouse and a lot of you guys have asked me what's on trend this year, gray and red Christmas is very trendy. Very trendy this year. The gray and red, I was telling them how trendy it is. Trendy. For Christmas. So trendy. And I'm going to cut this away. Got some good news to share in a few minutes. Good. All right. Yay, I love this piece. So I'm still going to hold that piece because I'm probably going to need something else from that. So let's score this. And since this is the front of this card, I'm going to score it here. Okay. Charlotte says she now knows how to change her blade. Uh-huh. So hey, all I, you got to do, Charlotte, is throw it on the floor. And when it comes to pieces, you'll have to figure out how to put it back That's together. your first step. Throw it on the floor. And then pick it up and put it back together. <laughs> I thought that was pretty ingenious. No one tell Ashish that I just said the first way to change your blades. <laughs> yeah, let's don't tell him that. Don't email Cricket and start going. May May said that I throw it on the floor. No, you can say May May threw the Cricket trimmer on the floor and it kept on going. All right, that's the back of this card. Even the backs are pretty. Oh, I love it. All right, 
card base. Let's look at the next step. It says, oh, that would be funny because I just went to eight instead of nine. Would it not be funny if you mixed them up? Like, let's do step two on this one. Let's do, you know what I'm saying? That would be interesting. It'd be funny. Okay, let's go to the right one. From the same sheet, trim the three quarter inch red strip, adhere it to the card front, align with the up. angle. Are you serious? When will it be back? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I think it's already on order, so. Ah. Uh, oh, good. This is my favorite little strip. I'm going, oh, no, I cut into the wrong piece, y'all. Oh, no, I didn't. That's the back, right? Yeah, it'll be all right. Okay, so let me cut this away. I'm just going to use my, oh, no, let me show y'all something, because I told you you could do this other ways, and I love to use my pen blade. Oh, I love these things. We have these in a three-pack in the store. I love them. This makes this super easy, and I'm just using my regular Tim Holtz ruler, and I'm breaking a rule. Can anybody see what rule I'm breaking? I'm sure you'll call me out on it. I'm, I feel confident. It's cutting on your mat a, rule, a bad rule. No, that's what it's for. Okay. They'll know. Give them two seconds. They'll fuss at me. Somebody will see it. And then I'll tell them why I'm doing it. <laughs> Any Anybody called me out yet? No metal edge. I see it. I'm using the opposite side. But the reason I am is because I, I get a cleaner cut. I get closer to it. Um, the metal edge kind of is a little clunky whenever I'm trying to do, especially when I'm trying to get something in a specific spot out just like this. So that's why I kind of do that. But you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to use the metal edge. The reason you do the metal edge though is to keep it from cutting into the acrylic of the um, of the ruler. Now this is supposed to go here. I want to see if it goes high or across the middle or low. It goes low. So it goes across the middle. That'll be cute. See, I told you they'd call me out. Oh yeah. They knew. They smart. All right. I left this open again, but not too bad that time. Run some glue. Stick this down. Speaking of glue, we got Happy Mail. Oh, we got glue? Yep. So it'll be in the store in just a few minutes. Give them a minute. Those little Mary L's will be out there working and working. I'm going to trim the excess away. Trim this excess away. Then it tells me step three is to, from the same sheet, trim the light gray notched piece and adhere it, oh, the light gray one, and adhere it to the left side of the card. I gotta look at the picture again and see where that is. Oh, it's right there. But it is the piece I cut into, but I'm gonna make it work, because I'm gonna put a snowman over that, aren't I? Yep, I'm gonna use it. I cut into this piece, so I did go too far. I just let my trimmer keep going, apparently, and didn't pay attention, so do pay attention. I'm, you know, you won't all be doing a live show and trying to keep it from being boring. But if you make a mistake, just go with it. What are we going to do? Can we not stress about it? We ain't going to stress about it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Um, we've had some questions about when t-shirts are going to be in. Do you know, Vince? He knows. We were just talking about them yesterday. They'll be in this month. It will be before the end of the month. Is this the, oh, it might be early September at this point, but they are, they are 75% ready. <laughs> now I just got to put my cap on, but I need it now anyway. Right. So look, so I messed that up, right? And here's where this goes, but the snowman's going to cover that right up. So I'm not going to stress about it. So I'm going to glue it right down. You could use foam for this. Like everybody was saying, you could totally foam stuff, you know, um, pop things up. That would be super cute. Um, but if you don't have all of that stuff and you just want to buy a paper pad and make some Christmas cards, here you go. Right? That's how we say it. Right. I'll just approve myself. <laughs> That's right. I'm working alone here today. <laughs> what? I said right. Well, I didn't know you needed okay. me to say just right. To, just approve myself. <laughs> All right, then it says, from the sticker sheet, locate the snowman. I love that. Locate the snowman. Like, that's hard. Now it's like a game. I get to locate a snowman from my sticker sheet? Let's locate the snowman. Let's locate him together. He's right here. It's like that. Can you find Can the snowman? Can you find the snowman? <laughs> there he is. He's so cute. What if he wasn't the right one? What if they're like multiples? But he's right. Oh, he's super cute. We've located the snowman. Nobody panicked. We've located him. Okay. Then, oh, and the white snowflake stickers. 
Where do the white snowflakes That's go? That's right, now, because that huh? was exactly what I was thinking of, but I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> Where's Waldo? The white Where's snowflake the sticker will, will get you, because it's like here. And I want to show y'all a trick about that. So I still got this guy in my finger, but don't worry about that. And I won't use this because that might make you nervous. Somebody said I scare him with my, with my pen, pen blade. Okay, watch. If you'll just take this little sticker to where you're picking it up, okay? It's got these little pieces in the middle. If you'll just press them onto the sticker backing, they'll stick right down. And you don't have to worry about cleaning those, you know, like picking them off every tiny little spot. Because they'll stick right into place onto that backer. Then you get all your little holes out and missed one. So you get your frilly little snowman that way. I mean your little snowflake that way. I still can't get that one out. Okay. That should be all of them except that one. Don't want to come out. All right. So there's the snowflake. And then it says, what's the next step? Adhere to the left side of the, or that one. Adhere the white snowflake to the top right edge of the light gray piece. I'm going to look at the picture every time, y'all. Every time. Oh, that's pretty. It kind of goes on and off. So it's kind of here. Let's see. Is it that high? No, it was kind of low. So here and there. That's pretty right there. And then it says, next, um, apply, what? I didn't know I needed baby powder. I can fix that. Apply baby powder to the back of the snowman sticker using the Oh, so they are telling us to pop this one up. Cool. All right, we're going to fix it. We're going to get out our embossing tool, our little powder tool, and powder him. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like the chalk oh, outline. Okay. Listen, it looks like the chalk outline of a snowman. <laughs> oh, no, he murdered it. <laughs> he melted away. Oh, no, our poor snowman. By the way, this is a trick. If you ever want to have um, a sticker not be sticky, you can do it like that. He's still a little sticky. That was a pretty sticky guy. But it looks like I killed a snowman. <laughs> Only me, y'all. Only me. Yep. You have those moments. I killed a snowman. My mom would say, killed a snowman. Okay. Let me clean this off. Kind of like killed a wabbit. Killed a wabbit. I've been meaning to clean this. This is good. <laughs> you are too much. To oh clean. my gosh. I've been meaning to clean this off. This is good. You just never know when you might have to be forced to clean. That's all right. Look, you killed him. <laughs> it did look like a snowman crime scene. Oh my gosh. If you have an elf, if you have one of those naughty elves, you can do that and make it look like it killed a snowman. <gasps> That'd be funny. Somebody said, why you add it? You already cleaned the other half, too. Ah, ha, ha. That, I should. I should. Amanda would say, if anybody would like that to come spend Amanda some time. Oh, that. okay. I was going to say, if anybody would like to come help Mamey clean, she's so not opposed she's to it. she's called out gray hair, and now she's saying you're a slob. She's <laughs> asking for an extended vacation. That's what she's asking for. <laughs> you're not going to get it that way. Good try, though. Good try. Somebody asked a question just a second ago. Okay. They asked, do we charge extra shipping for the 12 by 12 paper pads for international orders? We charge whatever they tell us to charge. Whatever they charge us. Yeah, we don't charge anything. International shipping is just ridiculous. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but it's just ridiculous. But you're honest. we don't charge any more than what they charge us. There's no markup in it at all. It's exactly what we have to pay. Actually, there's not markup to the fact that we work with a company that because they have so many people that work with them, they get a discounted um, shipping. Well, m some people will take that discounted shipping and then mark it back up to regular and make a little income off that. And I don't, I mean, some people do that. We don't. We extend that difference to you guys so we can try to keep shipping a little bit lower. But it's not, it's not this huge amount, but it's a little bit lower. All right, so now he goes something like that. Y'all, that's just super cute. I got him a little high, but I like him. They have him a little lower. I got to put words up here. I might have to do them somewhere else. Might have to split them since I got a little high. Okay. So now we're going to do, let me read it. Put your top on your glue. Apply baby powder. Did that, did that. Using the red letter stickers, um, spell Jolly Wishes above the snowman. Would anybody be mad if I didn't do that? And the reason is, I kind of like 
some of these things. Like, I love this. Look how cute that is with this. Don't y'all think that's pretty? And there's another one. And let me tell you the reason I was thinking this. So earlier today when I made those two cards, in my scraps, I happened to see one that says, yep, there it is. Okay. Let me get it. I have one in here that is perfect for this. And it says, in the meadow, we can build a snowman. Do you no, see I this? I told her twice. What? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Thank y'all. I'm sorry. I got distracted. All right, I'm going to cut this little piece away and use it. In the meadow, we can build a snowman. I'm going to sing it in a minute. It'll happen. Hide and watch. I just think this will be just as cute as Jolly Wishes, which is super cute. Put this back in here. Like a soul. And look, in the meadow, we can build a snowman. You couldn't help it. Could nope, you? can't do it. And pretend that he is Parson Brown. All right, where's hey, it going? I know that the cruise is a month from today. <gasps> it's cute right there, y'all. A month from today. Okay, and here yes, or here? Yes, Vinny will be there. Bottom right, top left. Bottom right, top left. I kind of like bottom right, but I kind of like top left. Let me show you top left. Top left. Cute too. Bottom, 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 bottom. Oh, top left. Top left. Yay. Yay! <laughs> A lot of bottom rights. I think bottom right wins. I agree. I liked it on the bottom. Okay. But I also like it when you do you. So if it's not your favorite placement, when you get this kit, put it anywhere you want it. And then tag me in social media so I can see it when you post the photos of it. So cute. Now, you know, if this was a Maymay card, there'd be some stitching somewhere besides just here. I'm thinking this needs to be stitched, but I'm not going to take the time to do that right now because that'll take a lot of time. And I would probably stitch it with a black pen. I think that'd be pretty. All right, I'm putting the extras from that sheet into my bag. Look how much is left over. And we've made three full cards already. Oh, I didn't put anything on the inside of this one, but for time's sake. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. I love that. All right, so let's look at what we did put together just in this time. In this time, we put together these two little cards. Look how pretty they are. They look like we sat there and just really, you know, worked at it, doesn't it? And we threw these together. These are like last minute, too, if you needed something last minute done. Try to get them where you can see them. And these are the ones I did right before we went live. So cute. I want to see if you notice something. No one would notice this, but can you see the little steam marks going up through there? If I don't point that out, most people wouldn't notice it because the little stick, the little cups are supposed to go right here. But uh, this is funny. Somebody said this while ago. You know, we have the stamp set called Cuppa Cuppa, and that would be really cute to cut out a couple of those and put right here because I just didn't want to waste it. So I love it. Love these guys. Love them. So that's that. I wanted to do that today because I've been wanting to play with this and show you how it works. So that's it. The a la carte kit, which we have them on order. And then, oh, it could be a reindeer breathing. Like, that's funny. It could be like they're, um, what's it, when you're outside and you fog, your mouth fogs. That'd be cute. And then look. But the best part is this, okay? How Once many you, different cards can you make from this You kit? can make nine the way they tell you to. But the thing is, from four cards, we have this much left over. I think we could make a lot of cards and tags. Y'all know how much I love a tag. That right there, I would cut that out. Watch. Can I do it? What time is it? Well, you're like way over. I'm way over. Minutes, so you're this guy right here. Nine minutes now. Just watch this. Now, I might make some people mad because I'm going to use a tool that you can't get anymore. But don't worry. You can make this easy, okay? You can do this your own way at home. So, just from my scraps. Here's what. Look. Do it. They're like, do it. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to cut this little tag away right here. Which you could totally do this with your trimmer, but I'm trying to be quick. So I'm just going to cut this guy out like so. Totally from the scraps of these cards we've been making. Okay. Then I'm going to grab some paper from my own stash. I love these little 8x8 eight eight pieces. Ooh, this would be cute on that. Or what else have I got? Have I got a good red in here? This is that 8x8 eight eight Nina stack. What's it called? Do you remember what it's called? Mm -mm. Ooh, it looks good on that. 
Oh, it got me. It had me at hello. Okay, so. Everything looks good on crimson. Oh, shut up. It's not crimson. Okay. I have a little piece I need to trim here because of obviously something I trimmed in it into it before. I'm going to trim down a little bit on this side too. Totally use your trimmer for this. I'm just trying to be quick. But anything left over, I'm going to turn into a tag because I know how many Christmas gift tags I need. Here's what I mean by somebody's not going to be happy. I can't get these anymore. These little perfect edge, what are they called? Mini perfect rulers? Yeah. Can't get them anymore. I sure wish the lady would bring them back, but I understand when something like you just can't. So I'm going to put this down somewhere like these. Something like that. How big is that edge? Did I get it perfect? That would be so good if it did. No. How big is that? I might need the other one. Oh, I can do it smaller. Not that small. So what these do is allow me to cut a little edge in it with my um, blade. If you have these, this is the way I would do this. Because it's quick, simple, done. Right? Just lay this up against that cardstock piece we did. Slice beside it. I'm bending my pin blade in a way that I shouldn't because it makes it go a little wonky. Because I'm being too heavy handed with it. So cut that away. Then come here. Let's try not to be so aggressive with the pin blade. I can always make two passes if I need to. There we go. Not as aggressive. Then come down here. Trim this away. There we go. All right, so we've got our edges done. And then, put a hole in this dude. Oh wait, before you put a hole in it, stamp the back with to and from, or write to and from on it. Let's see. Is my silver pen in here? Yes. Let's get real fancy. Let's get real fancy. To, dot, dot, from, dot dot right then poke a hole in the top i like to use the bigger one because i can get any ribbon i want to through it and that my friends is a tag for a gift with a scrap Voila. i i just love them because i love to give um gifts that have tags hanging on them to me i like to do this as much as i do a card as much as i do so there you go all right that is that. Now, if you will stick around for just a few seconds, we don't have a lot for the Thursday video. I'll be answering your questions, but we do something called the um, Crafter After Show where we sign out of this one and I sign right back into another video. So that way, if you're not interested in, in the chit chat part, you're done for today. But if you would like to, you can follow along to the next live show, which is called the Crafter After Show. And we will be doing Across the Miles. We have a couple things to show you. And do we have any new product? I don't know. It depends if FedEx comes or not. All right. So thanks Still so much waiting. for watching today. If you get this card kit and you make the cards, I want to see the pictures. I want to see what you put together and how you even go and decorate them even more. That'll be super fun. So share that with us on social media. I usually say on our Facebook group, but the thing is you can share it anywhere you want. You can just tag us in the social media and then I get noticed and I can go look at them and like them. I love to like your photos. All right, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. We're at 113 right now. Let's see where we end up by the end of the night. We appreciate you so much, and we'll see you in the Crafter After Show. Bye. Bye.